In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install Fantasy Realm. Yes, we're playing Fantasy Realm right now. I know you want to play it and you're going to learn how to download and install Fantasy Realm easily with this tutorial. So let's get started. Before we get right into the tutorial on how to download Fantasy Realm, let me tell you about Apex Hosting. If you click on that first link, well, actually, it's going to be above all the links in the description. You're going to be able to start your own server. You're going to be able to host your own server either for Java or Bedrock Edition. It could be a Fantasy Realm, an Craft, a regular vanilla Minecraft server with Apex Hosting and you're going to get 25% off. It's above all the links in the description. You're going to be able to find it in there and yeah apex hosting is amazing i've been hosting a server with them for a long time so so if you get a server with them you're gonna help all the channel as well and now let's get into the tutorial step number one is to click the first link in the description which will bring you to our website this is our written guide by the way on how to download curseforge feel free to scroll to the pages here you can switch pages and learn how to do it with the screenshots and text but the main thing in here is to click this big button that says download curseforge here when you click on that button it's going to redirect you to the download website for curseforge now here pretty straightforward just go ahead and click on download right here for windows and that is going to immediately start the download for the installer of curseforge once the installer has finished i'm gonna go ahead and drop it into the desktop feel free to drop it anywhere if you can find it just go to your download folder it's usually on your downloads folder once we have curseforge on the desktop let's go ahead and close out from the website and let's go ahead and launch the installer double click on it once you double click on the installer it's going to bring up this little screen right here this is the installer for curseforge let's go ahead and click on next and let's just wait for this to load go ahead and click that you have read and accepted the terms go ahead and click on next again next one more time and let's just wait for this to finish installing let's just give it a moment now after around a minute or so or maybe 30 seconds this is going to come up this little website in the background that means that curseforge has installed successfully you can go ahead and close out from that website and you can launch curseforge either through here through the installer or through the new icon that was created on the desktop let's just go ahead and click on launch this is going to start loading up since this is the first time you're opening curseforge it might take longer than usual just give it some time and it will load and after like 20 seconds this is what's going to come up it's going to give you the option to select a little intro just go ahead and click on the skip intro because i'm going to teach you what to do okay pretty straightforward again just go ahead and select minecraft because that is the mod pack that we're installing or the game that we're installing a mod pack for let me go ahead and make this big now in here don't freak out you might not have anything i have a bunch of mod packs because i already downloaded these mod packs okay but many of you won't have anything in here don't worry the main thing is to go to where it says browse mod packs and in here fantasy realm won't come up because it's still not that popular what we need to do in here is click on search for mod packs and type in fantasy realms let's go ahead and click enter and guess what there's a big big chance that fantasy realm won't come up in here what we need to do is change the sort by instead of popularity we're going to change it to latest updated let's go ahead and click on that that is going to bring it up right here so you can see fantasy realm by this guy in here i can't pronounce his name but big shout out to that guy and as you can see we have fantasy realm do not worry if you're a little bit afraid that you might not find it through search and you might not be able to install it like this because it doesn't come up when you try to search it go ahead and click on the second link in the description which is our guide on how to find this easier the main thing in here though is to click on this big button that says download fantasy realm here that is going to redirect you over here which is the curseforce website and in here we're going to click install with the curseforce app this little icon that comes up here in the right just go ahead and click on that icon and that is going to give you the option to open curseforce as you can see open curseforce app since we already installed it once we click on that it's going to ask you one more time on chrome if you want to open curseforce go ahead and click on that that is going to load curseforce app and as you can see it started installing it immediately that is another way in case you can find it here on the curseforce app just click on the second link click on this button right here and in the curseforce website just click on install through curseforce and then once it launches it to curseforce it's going to start installing it immediately so let's just wait for this to finish after a little while you can come back to your mod pack so let's say you're over here in browse mod packs just click on my mod packs and in here you're most likely going to find minecraft fantasy realm after it has been installed go ahead and click on it now let me remind you that we do not need to add optifine because this is going to come with shaders already just go ahead and click on play once you're here that is going to launch the minecraft launcher let's wait for that to launch and in here it's most likely going to have you signing i'm already signing into my minecraft launcher through curseforge do not worry if you see a signing screen just signing with your java account and you should be fine in here you're ready you could play fantasy realm already you could just click play and that is going to launch the fantasy realm because since we open it through curseforge it's automatically selected now if you want to add shaders before opening the game just click on installations click on this little folder next to fantasy realm and in here there's a big chance that you don't have a shader pack folder yet so just click right click new shader packs just like this shader packs and just go ahead and open that folder and drop in whatever shaders you want the third link in the description will be a link to download sealed those shaders just so you could try some shaders i'm going to go ahead and download sealed those real quick just click on this button if you go through our link and then scroll down until you find the version of shaders that you want if you want light medium high whatever i'm going to download light just for this tutorial that's going to take you over here you're going to wait five seconds do not click on anything just wait five seconds and after five seconds you're going to see a skip button right here on the top go ahead and click on a skip that's going to bring you over here where we're going to click on download this is a pretty straightforward 
straightforward process and after five seconds again the download would start immediately and we're going to drop that into the shaders folder and then i'm going to open the game so you guys see that the mod pack does work perfectly let's go ahead and drop the shaders now we have shaders and we can finally close out from this website and we could close out from this folder and click on play now let's go ahead and launch fantasy realm it's going to say that you need to understand the risk of playing modded minecraft etc you're already used to this if you play modded minecraft before go ahead and click on play and it's going to launch the game and let's just wait for that to finish now as you can see it's loading in here keep in mind that is, this is going to take a little bit because this is 209 mods okay as you can see back here 209 mods so it's going to take longer than regular minecraft okay if we get any error message it's probably the java installation or our java version but i'm pretty sure we won't because curseforce and the creator of the mod packs have been doing a great job over time and we honestly shouldn't be getting any java problems let's just wait for this to finish i'm going to show you that this is the mod pack that we wanted and after like a minute we are finally in the game let me go ahead and lower the music real quick there we go we're finally in the game you could click on single players but before we do that let's go ahead and click on options video settings Go ahead and click on shader packs and as you can see we have soldiers which is the pack we added earlier i'm gonna go ahead and apply it already click done it's easier to apply it through the menu let's go ahead and create a world so you guys can see that this works perfectly fine and after a while we're finally in the game and wow this is a slow okay keep in mind that my computer is a bit slow right now because i'm recording i'm playing but there we go after i load it up we are in fantasy realm oh my god i feel like my game is gonna crash but yeah this is fantasy realm and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always bye bye